world changed one day when all these random cards started raining down everywhere. At first, they seemed harmless enough, so a bunch of us kids invented this cool new game. That's when we realized those cards weren't so harmless after all. They were packed with incredible powers from another world. My name is Dan, and together with my friends Bruno, Marucho, Julie, not to mention Mr. Hotshot himself, Shun, and Alice, we are the Bakugan Battle Brawlers! Bakugan, one goal, two worlds! What are you gonna do? The odds are stacked against you. Back against the wall, you gotta give it your all. This is the final stand. The power's in your hands. Two worlds collide on the inside. You gotta fight for what's right before it's gone, gone, gone. This is back and gone. Bruno, Julie, no. Don't worry, Dan. It's up to Tigrera to look after them. We must keep going. I guess you're right, but I can't help worrying. Well, let's get out of here. Right. Hold on! By the looks of the terrain, I would venture to guess we're in another newly formed world. One that is a combination of both a darkest dimension and a virus dimension. Huh? You sure? I can't be 100% certain, but it would appear so. It was once Vestroya, but now it's being destroyed from within. And to stop its destruction, we must find Naga. Huh? An army of darkest Garganoids! <laughs> Drago, we're surrounded by him! Huh? They've absorbed the negative energy of this dimension, which has turned them to the dark side! Oh man, we're hooped! Okay, creep! Ability activate! Firewall! Hang on, Dan, this may be a little bumpy. That's enough! This isn't a Bakugan battle, so there's no reason to fight you! Now disperse! And make it quick! Vortex huh? Dark Pirates! What's going on, Drago? Trouble. Vortex Dark Flame. Who are those freaks? Oh, a feisty one. Welcome to our world. I hope your stay here is a pleasant one. It appears we have saved you from the Garganoids. <laughs> I've never seen any of these Bakugan before. Who are you? Tell us! I apologize for our late introduction. I am Centaurio. And my friends call me Druman. My friend Druman here might have been a little presumptuous when he said he saved you from the Garganoids. Yes, my motive was rather greedy. Because the only reason I saved you was... I want you all to myself. Your history, Dragonoid! <sighs> Off to the Doom Dimension, Dragonoid! Good riddance. Vortex Dark Pirates! Vortex Dark Flames! Rapid Chamber! Oh, it's Nova 
Ryan. What's that old fool doing here anyway? Just ignore him, Truman. When the time is right, we'll destroy him as well. <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah, but where the heck are we? It appears to be some kind of cave. However, I'm not sure how we got here. Of course! That's it! Rapid Saber! But who was that? So, Drago, you finally made it here! Huh? It's a... Pyrus Tigrera! Forgive me, but I didn't realize it was you who was making all that racket back there. What, with all the gargonoids screeching and all? So, this is the human I've heard about. <gasps> I've never met one before, and I must say, you're not much to look at. Wait! How come you're not affected by the negative energy? Bah! I'm too old for that. Besides, not all Bakugan are affected, especially ones who still have half a brain left, <laughs> like me. <laughs> so, why did you save us? I suppose it's because I had nothing better to do. Thanks. And by the way, my name is Dan. Nice to meet you, Dan. You can call me Noble Lion. It's nice meeting you, too. Don't let my age fool you. I've still got it. Impossible! Noble Lion, the wisest of all Bakugan. The wisest? And the oldest. He knows everything there is to know about Vestroya. I don't know if I'm the wisest, but I will grant you that I am indeed the oldest of the Bakugan. Wise Noble Lion, please tell us about this dimension, and what precisely is happening here. Hmm. First of all, Vestroya continues to deteriorate. And if he didn't stop immediately, then the human world will be destroyed as well. That means we gotta bring down Naga! What must we do? To begin with, you witnessed the changes in our world. And what is happening isn't merely the merging of Pyrus and Darkus. Oh no! Ever since our world and the human world crossed over into each other, our dimension has begun to take on their characteristics. Like the formation of sky and land. And my world is changing too. Like totally freaky winter weather in Hawaii. And floods in the desert. In order to stop this chaos, the Infinity Core and the Silent Core must be restored to their original positions, and it must be done quickly. Then, and only then, will balance be restored to Vestroya. Wavern possesses the Infinity Core, so it remains in good hands. We just have to retrieve the Silent Core from Naga. This is our mission, Noble Lion. Hmm. Then you must follow me. We'll take you to the center of the universe. That is where Naga is waiting. But I'll fly, Drago. I will protect you, Dad. I can't believe how much things have changed in my old world, Noble Lion. Oh, not just our world, my dear friend, but the Bakugan world as well. Let me explain. When the different attributed dimensions overlapped, the ecosystem collapsed, and a new species of Bakugan that had both Pyrus and Darkus attributes emerged. Yeah, that makes sense. That included Truman and Centaurion. Then the Bakugan we battled in the Ventus and Aquas dimension and in the Chaos and Subterra dimension, were of the same origin. Yes, they were all created from negative energy, which inherently makes them evil creatures. And their job is to protect Naga. <laughs> Go ahead and run, my friends. It makes it that much more of a sport for us. These Bakugan are freaks of nature, and should never have been created. It's sad, but I suppose in a way we are all victims of Naga's selfish motives. Huh? So, you think we're just Naga's lackeys, Noble Lion? It's time you learned your lesson, old-timer.
<laughs> oh, and who suddenly made you the boss, Dragonoid? There is only one way to get past, and that is to battle us. So if you think you're brave enough, bring it on, my friends. <laughs> As you wish, my friends. Power change! I've never backed down from a battle, and I'm not going to start now! Attack! <laughs> was nuts! Noble Lion! No need to worry, Tan. I am a pirate attributed Bakugan. Falling into a searing river of lava is like taking a warm bath to me. But just a safety hint. <laughs> Don't try this at home. It doesn't work for humans. You trust me on this, kiddo. Hey! I wasn't planning on it, big guy. Don't move! You just stay close to me, Daniel, and I'll protect you. Thanks, bud. You're mine, Dragon Eye! Ah! This is it. Hold on tight and stay low. Okay. You gotta power up, Drago. Ability activate. Fire Judge! Ah! Eclipse Assault! been immobilized! Fire Tornado! He is using his darkest attributed abilities to shut down my power! That in turn increases his own! There's not much I can do! Huh? My dear, dear Nova Lion, you should have used some of your wisdom and turned back! Why do you insist on defying Naga? Even you know you cannot win this battle. Allow me to teach you not to disrespect your elders! What? I've been waiting for a Bakugan with a human to show up in our world! Hang on, Noble Lion! If the destruction of Estroya began when Naga entered the human world, then the only way to save it will be for a Bakugan to make contact with a human being! Do the math, my friend! Interesting. That would mean you are of no use to me. Be gone! I'm getting too weary for the Wonder Revolution, Draco. The old get up and go just cut up and left. Wonder Revolution? What do you mean? Listen closely and I'll explain. When the universe was created, it was peaceful, without a single battle. But then, one day, something happened that changed everything. The core split into two. And the attributes that orbited the core fractured into six separate worlds. That was the beginning of the end. Okay, was that Vestroya? Yes. The Bakugan with different attributes were no longer able to survive in each other's attributed world. It became survival of the fittest. And in that process, strange and powerful Bakugan were created. The Bakugan that didn't fit into any of the new worlds were driven into the voids between the different dimensions. And that, my friends, was when Naga was born. Amazing! Tell me, Naga, what are your attributes? You are neither Heos nor Ventus. What combination are you? We are the Ashen Ones, and we do not belong to any one attributed world. The Forgotten Bakugan. So the Wonder Revolution was when the core split, when Naga was born, when Chaos reared its ugly head! <laughs> Noble Lion! Be still, my friend. The only hope to restoring peace to the universe is for Bakugan and humans to battle as one, to destroy Naga before he becomes master of all dimensions. You must hurry. Time is not on our side. And now go! Go quickly, before it's too late! <laughs> <gasps> Noble Lion! Ah, here you are. Thought you could hide from us? Let's get this over with, shall we? 
say, the sooner the better! Nova Lion said you two freaks are connected to that creep Naga! Is that the reason you had to go off and destroy him? Revenge is mine for what you did to Nova Lion! <laughs> Let's do this, Drago! You show him! With pleasure, Daniel! I'm getting weaker. Weaker! That's because your powers are being transferred to Drago! Okay, Drago, finish him off! Posted Ultima! I'm impressed! Not! Grant down! Somehow he nullified the command card! Your little tricks won't work on me, Dragonoid! Attack! Now it's my turn! Drago! I gotta do something quick! Okay, take this, you creep! Mine goes! Foolish human, you cannot defeat us! Vortex Dark Pirates! Hey, stop! Huh. You gotta stop! Please stop it now! I'll do anything! Just make it stop. Get your filthy human hands off of me! Ah! It's over, Dragonoid. Vortex on flames! Everything okay? If you need to talk, let me know. Just remember, I'll always be here for you, alright? Oh, thanks! I appreciate it, Aunt Clara. Can you give me a second? I'll be in right away. Okay, hurry, because your lunch is getting cold. I'm positive that was Dan's voice I just heard. I wish that he was still here with, with us. I wonder what he means. If he's in some kind of trouble. Oh, I wish I were there to help him. Okay, I have to think positive thoughts. Dan can take care of himself. I know he can. Oh, what am I thinking? Dan is in some kind of trouble. I just know it. I can feel it. <gasps> My masquerade mask! There was a warrior who rode through the night. To see his young boy upon morning's first light, he rode swiftly along, the wind through his hair, in hopes that he soon would be there. How sweet. Klaus, look! It's Alice. Are you leaving us? I am. It's my duty as a battle brawler to help out Dan. Good luck, Alice. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> 